I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a 1995 Kauai, and I have a ton of experience with Kauai, and, and it's just been uh, really overwhelmingly positive. Kauai, they, they just do a, a great job at manufacturing. They've been really manufacturing excellent pianos since at least, at least since the early 70s and possibly into the 60s. Um, when uh, when their quality really became what it is today, which is which is very very good. Um, and by the way, the reason that I have so much experience with Kauai is because the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints uses Kauai pianos in their uh, in their buildings and has for probably twenty five years, maybe thirty years, something like that. And I used to work for for the church in all of East Provo. I did all of the maintenance of all those pianos for about 10 years in, uh, from about 2000 to 2010. And uh, it's about 150 Kauai pianos that I was responsible for. And so I got to know those pianos very intimately. I saw them every six months at least for, for 10 years. And so I just got to know um, the ins and outs of, of those pianos in particular in Kauai uh, uh, in general, I would say, during that period. and. Uh, and like I said, just had an overwhelmingly positive experience. So this particular piano is a 48-inch, uh, which I've long recommended to, to my, to my uh, clients that 48 uh, that inches is kind of the minimum for an upright piano. There's, there's just something about the engineering of 48 inches and above that, that enables the piano to have a more powerful tone and, and also, my, my experience is that generally manufacturers put a little bit more effort, a little bit more craftsmanship, and take more pride in their larger pianos and their 48 inch and, and above. And so you've, you've kind of got a double whammy there going for you where, where you've got the, uh, the engineering and the, the pride of, of, the, uh, of the manufacturer going for you. So uh, this, this piano, 1995, not terribly old. As general rule, pianos really, while they last forever, they last for, they last for over 100 years. We've got, I don't know if you can see it, over, over all these pianos, all those pianos over there in the mirror. Those are all turn-of-the-century pianos, some of them into the 19th century, 1880s, the, that Kauai, or, or that Kanabi over there. The, uh, but, but by the time they get that old, they, they really have to be rebuilt. When they're this old, meaning you know 25 years or so they don't need to be rebuilt but they definitely need to be refurbished really even a piano that's about 10 years old starts to starts to really need it by the time it's 20 years old for sure it absolutely needs a full refurbishing and so the kinds of things that are involved in that of course a cleaning pianos get super filthy on the inside they the hammers need to be reshaped the hammer butts need to be repinned it needs to be fully regulated which is which is a uh, kind of an umbrella term referring to the touch, the ac how the action functions, how all the parts relate to each other, how they interact with each other. And uh, things need to be aligned and lubricated. The action, everything needs to be tightened up um, and maybe a handful of other things. Usually there's, there's one or two other, other kinds of uh, um, little repairs or, or adjustments that, uh, that these pianos need. Every, every piano is sort of its own individual project. So this piano has had that and uh, it's been thoroughly refurbished. When I talk about a refurbishing, by the way, that I, I realize that that could kind of be interpreted many different ways and the way that we interpret it is, is a very, um, how, how would you say it, we're, we're very serious about the refurbishing. This is not something that that we that we accomplish in you know a day or or you know a few hours or whatever. This is a um, sometimes several week process that we put these pianos through. So it's very 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 thorough, extremely uh, meticulous, ensuring that well we're we're essentially trying to to make these pianos function as well as they possibly can, like brand new if if possible. And and in in many cases that includes not only the guts like I'm talking about, but also the finish. So the finish on this piano is in probably close to A-plus condition. I, I probably wouldn't give it an A-plus. I see some minor, very minor issues with it, but especially for a 1995, this piano is in almost perfect condition. Even the pedals and the hardware and everything look great. 
So, um, so I'll say one one last thing about the piano, and then I'll and then I'll play it, and that and that is that uh, uh, I just want to mention talk about its value, that that we're where we are essentially trying to make it function and endure and sound, touch, tone, everything like a brand new piano, and we can get it pretty close. We can't get it 100% of the way there, but we can get it. You know, it's hard to put a number on it, but 95, 97, 98 percent of the way there, and we are less than half the price of what this piano, a comparable Kawai, would be brand new. So, so I think that's why we've been so successful in in refurbishing and selling these these pianos over the well decades now. So, so yeah, value value is something that I really focus on here at the piano shop, and and this this piano is a perfect example of of that very thing. light touch which uh, which a lot of people really enjoy especially especially uh, improvisers and jazz players but but uh, but that's that's really a, a taste thing um, yeah I, I think it's fun fun piano to play and I think it'll bless somebody's life for for years to come <laughs> 